don't have to put a lot into it and you get this like obscene return which i knew was like not real but i wanted it to be real like i wanted it to be real so bad new at 6 30 a woman says she feels duped after falling for a social media offer that she now calls too good to be true yeah so this started when a friend reached out to her on instagram asking her to invest in cryptocurrency well she's now telling megan schiller her story in hopes of keeping other people from being scammed this woman believes this could happen to anyone. She says a lot of people could use some extra money right now. So when an opportunity presented itself that seemed easy and legitimate, she found it was hard to say no. It all started when a message popped up on Instagram. I was like, it's 200 bucks. And that is a lot of money. But at the same time, like the little Part in my brain was like, oh my God, if this happens, this is going to be awesome. Raina said a friend asked her to use the cash app and buy $200 in cryptocurrency. For the money, she'd see a huge return fast. Like $4,700. Like I know this. <laughs> so like, I'm like, I could pay my bills, pay my car off. The Better Business Bureau says it's a scam that's tripled in popularity. Cyber criminals hack into an unsuspecting person's account and target their friends because the trust is already there. She was an attorney, so she trusted it seemed a little bit more plausible. Raina said the person even gave her a link to watch her money start to grow, but then came a red flag. So I was like, cool, I made my money. I was like, now give me it. You know, like I want to withdraw this. And they're like, no, you have to reinvest $1,500. Raina stopped there and called the BBB. But Driscoll tells me many people keep giving the money. In fact, she's currently tracking 2,400 complaints, totaling losses of $8 million. Cryptocurrency scams were identified as the second riskiest scam last year, um, a significant increase from the seventh spot the year prior. Raina feels lucky to only be out 200, but won't invest again without doing her research. And that's what I think makes people like drawn to it because it's like the unknown. So it could either be like really good or really bad. If you're going to do that, you should really educate yourself. The Better Business Bureau tells me she was lucky because most victims lose around $1,200. Driscoll says that if you are interested in legitimately investing, only access apps that you find in the Google Play or the Apple App Stores. And don't just click on links that pop up during a Google search because they can also lead you down the wrong path. Reporting on the North Shore, Megan Schiller, KDK News.